Hello and welcome to Dream Muscle Fitness. I am Dream Muscle. Today I'll be talking to you about the core. I'll be talking about why it's essential to build a strong core. I'll talk again about workouts that you do to build a strong core. I'll talk again about reducing baby fat, what to eat and when to eat. What is this core? The core is your entire area around your midsection, the front, the sides and the back. So the front will be your abdominal muscles, the sides, your obliques and your lower legs, the back being your lower back. So why do you have to work out your core? You want to build strong core muscles and you want to improve your stability. Uh, strong core muscles because everyday activities we do involve core movement and strength. Bending, lifting, twisting, you can name them. Strong core again in the workout uh, helps in injury prevention because the stronger the core, the more engaged your muscles are when you do lift like that lift. So having a strong core is actually essential a lot in workout in general. Let me talk about core workouts that you can do. First of all, think of movements that involve movement around the core, movement that involves all the muscles I talked about on, on your entire trunk. So you have uh, exercises like push-ups, you have sit-ups, you have crunches, you have planks, you can name them. I'll just show you a few that you can do are uh, easy ones and advanced ones. And here's something that you should appreciate and enjoy when you're doing. It will get painful, it's, it's what you should expect. Uh, especially when it's your first time doing core workouts because your body is not used to this new thing that you're trying to do. Enjoy it, it will pass, it's how the body reacts to pain. But the results will be fulfilling. So the workouts I'm going to show you are HIIT workouts, high intensity interval workouts. So they will involve push-ups, sit-ups, crunches, a lot of workouts in one. Uh, I've chosen HIIT because because of the high intensity, you work more on your body in a shorter time. But again, you can do the workouts in isolation. You can do push-ups rest, do crunches rest, and so on. Now, let me talk about what you eat, how you eat, and when you eat. Uh, it's essential to eat uh, three times a day, at least three times a day. Have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner. Think of your daily meal plan as an inverted pyramid meal plan. Your breakfast being the largest meal and dinner being the smallest meal. Cut out junk food from your meals. Reduce sugars and carbohydrates. Cut alcohol, cut fizzy drinks. Hydrate more with water. Again, some habits you have to cut. Take stairs instead of lifts. Again, for short distances walk, don't take cabs. Again, here's another one. Uh, eat as at fixed times. If your breakfast is at 8 a.m., be it at 8 a.m. all days. If lunch is at 1 p.m., 1 p.m. all days. Dinner, 6 p.m., 6 p.m. Another thing, have early dinners. Have early dinners. Yes, do cut carbohydrates from your food, but not entirely. But try to put in more fibers into your food and cut carbohydrates like white rice and white bread. The don't have five, I think that you should know about. Remember, what you want to have in your meals is protein and fibers, right? But it doesn't mean you have protein and fibers only. Between meals, snack. You will get hungry, but snack, eat fruit between meals. Rather have a lot of meals uh, which are small portioned. Five meals. You can have five meals, small portions, but not junk food. Reducing baby fat, having six packs, having a tight core is more about what you eat, more than what you do in the gym. Everyone can come to the gym, but the discipline of eating well for what your goals are is what is most difficult for many people. Remember that you want to be true to your goals.
Oh, 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 oh,